Hello friends, welcome to this video. This is going to be a short and a sweet video. We will be just defining quotient mean, map and we will discuss something about it. Right? So quotient map is related to the quotient that we learn, quotient space that we learn. Okay, let's see what it is. Suppose my U is a subspace of V. The, then the quotient map is a linear map. What is the meaning of a linear map? Linear transformation it means, right? It is a linear transformation. And the quotient map is a linear transformation pi from V to V modulo U. I think my V and U are looking same. So, so this is a linear map pi defined as or defined by pi of V bar is same as V bar plus U. Means every vector will go to the coset with a representative V bar. So quotient map is nothing but a linear transformation defined it like this few things that we should note this map is well defined because if I know I have to just take representative as V bar so it is always going to be one single answer but this map is not one one this map is many to one since there are so many elements which can go to the same coset since the cos cosets that we learn have different representative representative is not unique we know that right we have the different representative. We know that my x bar plus u can be same as y bar plus u. But my x bar is not same as y bar. In this case, I can just only tell my difference is there inside u. But I cannot conclude that my x bar is same as y bar. right? So we know that this map is well defined for sure. And it is not 1, 1 also. Right? So in this, while defining quotient map, we say it is a linear map. We know the definition. We know it is well defined since I just have to think about the coset with the representative as we So it is well defined. But now we will prove it is a linear transformation or we can say a linear map. Okay. We will prove this. Just write the definition for now and we will prove it is a linear transformation. Okay. So let us let me just rub the definition and just prove. Okay. So what my claim is. My claim is whatever pi we define just now is a linear transformation. Okay, so you should know the definition of the linear transformation. A uh, linear transformation is a map from a one vector space to another vector space such that suppose the map is t, then t from t of alpha x plus y is equal to alpha of t of x plus t of y. Right? I hope you remember. So I just want to prove that. So what we consider is for any alpha inside R and two elements since my pi is from V to V by U V by U so I consider any scalar I consider two elements from this V1 bar comma V2 bar inside V I consider any elements then I consider pi of alpha V1 bar plus V2 bar I just want to give a note. Many reference book prove it in a two steps. I just want to prove it in the one step. But there are many different ways. I am just using the simplest one. So after this, by the definition we know pi send any vector to the coset with representative as this. So this is same as alpha v1 bar plus v2 bar as a representative of the coset. Right? This is coset of you with respect to this. No, now we know coset satisfy some of the properties. We know the def, uh, operation defined on. So based on the operation defined on it, I can write it is same as alpha v1 bar plus u plus the coset v2 bar plus u. Right? From this I can come to this, so I can write. Also by the definition of scalar product on the coset, we can write alpha v1 bar plus u plus v2 bar plus u. Now if you observe this is alpha this is actually same as pi v1 bar. Correct? Similarly this is same as pi v2 bar. Hence you found 
pi of alpha v1 bar plus v2 bar is same as this. Hence, you can conclude your pi is a linear touch. So, this is about a quotient. Quotient map is really important because it will help us to find out the dimension of v by u in the simplest possible way. Okay, it is a linear transformation. Once you learn linear transform, what is the thing that strikes to your head? Anything from theorem, the important theorem related to linear transformation? Yes, that is rank nullity theorem, right? So after watching this video, I request all the students to write what the rank nullity theorem is. What is definition of rank? What is definition of nullity? Just think about, right? Just write it down because that is what we are going to learn in the next video. We are going to use it. We won't learn those things in detail because that you have done in FIBS, at least the statement. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to go through the quiz in the link. I hope the quiz are going well. They are simple. Okay. Thank you so much. Share it with your friend. Share it with your teacher. Write your feedback in the comment box. And just at the end, thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.